What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. It is time for part two of redoing the solar shed. We're gonna make a plan. Okay, so I'm not the best artist. I'm not the best uh, engineer by any stretch. I'm not even an engineer at all. So uh, anyway, I, but I wanted to put a drawing together, kind of a plan together so that I would know what I wanted to do and so that I could clean up this, this project. Um, the old system, I kind of just grew in fits and starts. I would decide that I wanted to put in a meter, and so I would just kind of hack in some wires and wire in a meter or, or add this inverter here or whatever. And so it was just kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge, and it wasn't clean and, and, uh, and efficient, so to speak. So we know um, up here in the, the left, up in the top left, those solar panels are saying the same as before um, so we have 600 little over 600 watts worth of solar panels to work with um, one thing that a lot of people have asked me about uh, is switches um, over the years um, I I've used uh, load centers and combiner boxes and stuff for that in the past with uh, with good results but um, just a little quick disconnect uh, switches are very handy, very convenient. So I think I'm going to switch over to those. Um, technically, you can run a DC system without them, but you're losing some some safety. So this system will work if you didn't have any any switches or fuses or whatever, um, but not ideal um, safety wise. And it and the switches give you the ability to kind of shut off parts of the system or bypass parts of the system so they're they're very handy um, in addition to safety so i've got a 30 amp um, switch breaker switch coming off of the solar panels and then going into the charge controller i'm going to put in i I'll, i like to be able to when i'm in the shed i like to be able to just kind of glance at the at the wall and, and kind of see what the system's doing without having to log into a, a web browser to check on the, the status or um, you know push some buttons on the front of the LCD on the <clears throat> charge controller. So I just want to be able to have an at a glance a few meters to show me uh, not only generation up here but also the consumption of the system and then the the uh, the health of the the battery system the battery voltage. So there will be a shunt in, in series here and showing the power that I'm generating at a glance. And then obviously it'll go into the charge controller. <clears throat> the charge controller is going to be an MPPT controller. I'm pretty well decided on the Midnight Classic 150, but I haven't written that in here because I'm not 100% and I haven't ordered it yet. Off of the charge controller to the batteries, I'm going to have a 100 amp breaker switch uh, because that particular MPPT controller can handle 96 amps. Uh, it won't in my system, but just in case I decide I want to add some more panels somehow in the future, I'm going to have that ability. So I'm going to put a one hand 100 amp breaker switch to the panels, or to the, uh, the batteries, I'm sorry. I'm going to have fused terminals on the, the plus and the minus side of the battery bank. And then, like I said, have a, a battery voltage meter to be able to see, kind of at a glance, what what the voltage, what the health is of, of the battery bank. And these are going to be wired in series. They're all 6-volt batteries. So 24-volt battery bank. And the total capacity would be 225 amp hours. And then coming off of the battery bank, the usable power will go through a cons consumption meter where... I'll be able to take a glance and see what are we pumping out to the house and, or the, uh, the inverter in the shed, what, what power are we consuming. And then it will go into a, a load center. I'm going to replace the load center I've got now because it's technically not rated for, for uh, DC power. They've worked just fine. They're home line series Schneider Electric load centers, and they've worked. But, you know, DC can arc pretty pretty nasty and uh, so I just wanted to upgrade to something that was a little more safe even if it cost me a little bit more and then still give me the ability to, to have these these are active switchers uh, switches these breakers and so I'll have a, a 20 amp breaker that'll go here 
a 30 amp breaker or 40 amp breaker here and then a 10 amp up to my office and the reason that the office is so small is because it's a really long run and I really can't use more than that anyway so that's that's the system uh, I reserve the right to make some changes as we go I'm sure there will be um, some things that come up that, that'll be nice or maybe some of you guys have some ideas of how to improve this but uh, this is kind of the, pl the project plan that I'm going to implement and I'm hopefully going to be going and picking up these batteries this week so I can get started on the battery bank and continue making these videos because I know you guys have expressed a lot of interest in seeing them so anyway thanks for watching this is, this is the plan and we'll catch you next time be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos in this series.